just taking it one rabbit one at a time. Yeah. This week's Friday for instalment picks up where we left off on the 1st of February. But there's been a bit of a gap because if you've been following all of this, you'll know that our mum passed away. So the instalment stopped on the 1st of Feb. And I'm only now gradually putting all the footage that I kind of took randomly throughout the last month together. It is in the nature of our Friday for instalments, raw, unedited, honest, and painful to watch in parts. And the instalments that are to follow that are also catching up are going to be very difficult watching too. But that's what I do. I share honestly how it is in the moment. Hey folks. It's me, obviously, and I ain't doing so well at all. <laughs> oh dear, I want to make a video, I want to write, but nothing is coming out. It's all a bit shit really, isn't it? So today is Tuesday, the 12th of February, of course it is, because it's my birthday tomorrow. And uh, if you've been watching, reading social media -y stuff, you'll have seen that our mumsy passed away last Saturday. I've got a fin installment from last week before all this happened. And it's like full of like really lovely, funny stuff and unicorns and rainbows and shit. <laughs> And I'm like, do I upload that? Why am I even worrying about the Finstallments stalling? Um, you know, none of that's really important, is it? Today, I bought a rabbit onesie. Because I thought I needed a rabbit onesie in my life. I've not cried, I can't cry, I've kind of half cried. And this might seem bonkers, but I've decided to come off my um, antidepressants so that I can cry. Don't panic. I have spoken to the doctor about it and she does get it. I had my sertraline upped back last year, almost a year ago, when I had all that thyroid issue, when they thought it was depression and it ended up to be thyroid. And they whacked my antidepressant up. I was on citalopram and then they changed me from that to sertraline. And that ended up going right up to 150. And I don't know when it happened, but I stopped being able to cry. I can't cry easy anyway. It's always been a bit of an issue for me. Um, but at some point, I don't know when, the ability to complete to cry completely left me. And right now, I need to cry. I need to feel this. My recovery works by feeling. Don't panic. If all goes tits up. I should go back on them. I'm not going to put myself in any danger. I need to cry. I need to feel this. I can't wander around feeling like a plank of wood. And it's not just a reaction to mum's dying. This is the sertraline because it's been going on for a while. Chris is being amazing. Our whole little family is amazing. We are orphans now. We lost our dad when I was 13. That was 1986. Now mum's gone. We're a very small family over here. Thank God that we're close though, you know, having Mark there when mum went was a real blessing. And his partner, his fiance now, Kirsty, was amazing. She was there and so was Chris. And we've been like this little foursome of a power team going through stuff. Basically, Kirsty and Chris have just directed me and Mark and through everything. We, me and Mark have just like... <sighs> Whenever we haven't known what to do, we've just turned to them and gone, what do we do? <laughs> and they've been amazing. Chris's mum's down at the moment. I went to see them last night. They're staying in the hotel around the corner. Um, but tonight, I just need to lie here in my onesie. I can't. I can't. Just can't people today. <laughs> so, it's my birthday today. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> 
Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear family. Happy birthday to you. That was amazing. Thanks, babes. So it's not the happiest of days, really, is it, Fish Christopher Fur? No. But my amazing Christopher Fur has made it easier anyway. We've just been to see Roland Hardy, haven't we? Not in person. The cinema film. Um, and we told the lady... It was my birthday, and she's given us enough popcorn to last a month. Another six films. <laughs> yeah. The lovely Ben sent me a new mini Lammy, which is really cute, and a rather fetching card. Actually, that's my bum, really. That's exactly how my bum looks. Bring it, babe. I can't believe you're saying that. Oops, I just dropped Lammy. And I've got a free cake badge, which is really cool. Ah. Uh, I don't know what to say really, I keep trying to film at the moment, I don't know if I'm actually going to use any of this, but I've been filming bits, babe. You're doing alright, as well as can be expected. It's only because I've got you by my side and you're amazing. So... Checks in the post. <laughs> yeah, that's it really. <laughs> we're going to sleep now. Um, and then we're going out later somewhere else. I don't know where we're going, but we're going somewhere else. Aren't we? Where are we going, babe? Out. Out. You got no idea at all? No. More cinema? No. Food? Mm. Weather spins? It's usually weather spins. Yep. That's cool. I'll put it on normal table. Fantastic. First Ventura? Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. Almost get packing. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Can you see the moon? I can't find it. Now, there it is. Moon. We've had quite a nice Valentine's Day, haven't we, babes? Lovely. We went and had some Weatherspoons dinner, because we're cheap like that, <laughs> didn't we? Yeah. And the Fur Fur's mummy is in Eastbourne at the moment, so we're going to go and see them. And now you can't see us, because it's dark. Dark. Because it's night time. So, bye. Here he comes. Here he comes. Fox. Fox, fox. And look at his eyes. Oh. Fox it. 